Hello, good day one and all. Chris Kaler here. March 18th, 2020. No doubt there's a lot of interesting shit going on right now. Um, conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theories are plenty. Of course, um, interesting times mean interesting things are happening. Uh, if, you, if you look at around the world, this has never happened before. It, they've been, there's been attempts for stuff like this to happen. I guess trial runs, let's say, whatever. Let's let's put the conspiracy stuff aside. I mean, there's the agendas um, going on with this virus thing, and I use the term lightly, uh, are, are, are many, okay? Good and bad. But let's take all those conspiracies, let's put them aside. So, I asked some questions this morning. I had a no-show. Thank you so much for not showing up for your appointment. That happens. Um, sometimes it happens for a reason. So I started asking some questions with my charts, like I always do. Um, and I asked about this. Who called it an event? I asked about this event. Now, let's go back a little bit. Uh, in the last few days, now today is Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, I come down here and I start working with clients, start dowsing, and the answers are very, very deep, very precise, very crisp and clean. No caffeine. Um, and to me, that means we're getting closer, deeper, better connections, etc., etc. Now, you, excuse me. Oh. Well, she missed her appointment. <laughs> um, so to me, that means that we are certainly getting closer. Okay, so sorry, sorry. Let me turn this thing off. This thing never stops ringing. Never stops ringing. Anyways, so yesterday I was working with somebody, and I've been working lately with with a lot of things concerning the the. Uh, uh, quantum entanglement with parallel worlds. And this is something I worked with uh, quite a while in the past, like maybe eight years ago. It, it came up here and there, but it kind of went away, and that's what kind of happens with, with things sometimes. So, but yesterday, I knew that this person and her sister and her other sister um, had this um, energy that they're holding with source, okay, the universes of source. These sources, three universes. Hardy, Sparky, and Source. That's what we call them. But yesterday was interesting. I've been having trouble with this person. We've been working a good year or so. And it's a simple, relatively would be considered a simple problem, but just we're making changes. It's working well, but it's just not complete. But yesterday... I was directed to a set of charts I haven't been using in a while, my aura energy charts, which have basically been, you know, the, the stuff is either taken offline or just not accessing that in, in proper ways. And I was told to go to those charts, like, oh, I'm getting some special information here. And it went to the word parallel incarnation. Okay, we're, they're trying to tell us something. So I went to my letter chart. I asked source, what problem within this person? And I was told to bring in the parallel incarnation of source into this person. We don't do that for everybody. I've never seen that before. Okay, so this is something. I know that we're, we're into something. So we did that. This person felt tingles, all kinds of energy movement, of course. Uh, no doubt, no doubt. Um, so today client doesn't show up I start dowsing I start asking questions now I, I don't like to just keep harping on something with with trying to get answers because you're gonna get all these different answers and it causes confusion so so sometimes things happen and um, it's time to ask a question because there's an answer available if there's no answer available you're gonna get a, a, a gibberish let's say or, or, or not very clear answers but today was very clear I got the message Today, Mother Earth ascends. 
today mother earth ascends i don't work in the realm of mother earth gaia nothing like that i, I just leave that alone i'm working with people face to face this was interesting and then i was told watch for lights over the south pole so let's take this event and let's look at it in a positive way now uh, i also asked about the virus and within the virus, there is the energy of hysteria. And that, that's when it first started happening. That's what I was told about this virus is hysteria, hysteria, hysteria. What's happening? Let's go get some toilet paper. Let's go crazy. Let's, you know, some people are just overreacting with this. And that's what we do. We, you know, the, we're fear the unknown that this is again very scary time for a lot of people especially people who aren't uh, aren't in the know aren't awakened um, very scary time and and justifiably so come on this is ridiculous it, it is ridiculous in its, in its own way but um, again all conspiracy aside there's a lot of things going on in the background a lot of things going on in the background that's uh, going to be making changes Changes how? I mean, we're going to have to wait and see. I mean, there's lots of speculation about the financial system, oil back, gold back, dollar, da 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 da. Arrests here, arrests there. Well, of course, uh, we keep hearing about it all the all the time. Uh, there's a lot of people who who um, say they have connections with the secret military and have informants and stuff like that, whistleblowers. Uh, a lot of people talk about this type of thing on radio shows in which the information could be very, very accurate, but we need, we, we want to see things that, that, that get backed up, okay? Um, I don't doubt what anybody says. There is truth into what everybody has to say. It's just a matter of how much truth. So, so if there are arrests happening, at what level and who? So, so of course, if, if there are arrests happening... There might be, let's say, 500 real arrests, and people say there's 1,500. Okay, so let's, when you hear this information, take it in, filter it. Uh, nothing for you to worry about. There's nothing for you to worry about. Things are being taken care of. We, we as humans have a right to life, have a right to peace, and, and this is all starting to culminate and come together. So, storm before the calm? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, and that's, I think that's how we have to look at it. Hunker down. Stay isolated if you are. My wife and my kids, we're, we're basically, uh, you know, sitting around here having fun, having dance parties, playing music. My, my bandmates still come over. There's only three of us. And, you know, they, we still get together. We, you know, he, one guy sits in that corner, I sit by in there. Another guy sits in the other corner. It's all good. We have some moonshine and and, and we, you know, have have some fun. Okay. I went out to the Home Depot the other day and bought some some flooring so I can build my gym. And so, so I mean, but I'm not. We're not within a big group of people. We're not doing that type of thing. But we're keeping our distance, etc. Play by the rules. Don't uh, don't get all rambunctious and, and start protesting and stuff like that. It's stay cool, stay calm, and we will all benefit from that. As information comes up, we will certainly um, bring it forward. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, all is good. All is going to be good. There might be dis some disruption in your life, disruption in my life, disruption in your jobs, everything. It's all good. Okay. Chris out.